Because listen, you said yourself, and I know you care about her, her salvation. Uh -huh. And brother, yeah. sometimes people are brought to a point that just like when somebody said to me, I praise God that I was involved in a wreck and I lost my leg. Not many people would even say that. I said, why do you say that? He does outreach ministry now. He says, because if it hadn't been for me losing my leg and almost dying, I would have never reached out and cried out to God. I thank God. That, yeah, he said, I thank God that God allowed the enemy to almost take my life so that I'd wake up. But listen. You know, somebody else already to hear this too, and I'm going to let you guys get this one first. Give me a quick second. I'll get up. I'm out the best friend for the life. Facebook that's on here monitoring it. See, I understand, Dean, how this works. You know, they got, Facebook has Muslims that monitor and so, and so if they decide that, hey, we've heard enough, uh, we don't want people hear about this, they'll start bumping people off. And that's what happened. Half the people just got knocked off. And, uh, and now a lot of people get back on. But here's what I wanted to say. Right before this happened, so it doesn't surprise me that the signal went down. Now, here's what I do want to say, Dean. I pray for forgiveness for anyone that says, I know God, and then they pull this kind of boneheaded stunts, okay? Because if we're Christians, and, and I'm going to tell you why I know this. I remember when Dean, uh, hold on just a second. Hold on, Shadow just knocked something off the table. Come here, girl. She's uh, she's on the table. Usually she up here with me, but she's on the table. She's knocked some stuff in the floor she's wanting to take off and play with. But here's what I want to say. Dave, I remember that when you were down here from Virginia and you were here to share from Virginia to Carolina your miracle of being, yeah, yeah, the live stream got reported, Gail. But it's, but it's okay. You know, you get people on here. And what's crazy about this, you got a guy, Jesus Christ, if you don't like what's being said, then go on and find something else to do with your time if you're that adamant. I don't get on uh, broadcasts with Muslims and try to destroy uh, their live stream. I don't do that. 
I get on, if I if I follow anything or watch, I want to pray for people and show love, not not to pull underhanded games. Okay, Dean, I remember when you was down here from North Carolina, uh, North Carolina from uh, Virginia, and you was constantly under attack from, I remember I seen a comment that I thought, what's wrong with people? And, and there were people that were trying to make you feel like, well, the only reason you're down there is you're trying to make this about you, which was a lie. Yeah. It's a lie. Yeah. And here you are healed of dementia. Your boy's supernaturally healed. And instead of people embracing and saying, man, I am so excited for you, Dean. And you know the truth of the matter is, the ones that do stuff like that are some of the ones that pray for me. And when they don't get healed, that instead of saying, continue to pray for me, they get mad, they get angry, and they take it out on the one that was healed. I have seen this happen so many times. And let me say this. When you respond to the Lord in that respect that, well, I can't believe this. You healed that one, and how dare you not heal me? Uh, you uh, definitely you definitely not going to get touched in the way that you're thinking because that is selfish. Uh, it is wrong. Uh, and, and brother, let me tell you, I, I know that I know that was discouraging uh, to you and to your wife and to your son. That you're coming from Virginia, feeling like, man, I am so excited. I get to tell people that God healed me and what He's done for my life. But then you find yourself uh, having to defend yourself because people are attacking you. Uh, you're, you're, you're the only reason you're going to North Carolina, so we can. Uh, 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 congratulate you instead of the whole theme. And senior pastor had come to the church with you he told me he said man you you wouldn't believe how this has impacted my life there's things that I have basically uh, was willing to give up on and just say it ain't going to happen but when I seen what happened with Dean I realized because see listen there's a lot of pastors Dean that know the word but they've never seen the word manifest like, the, like we're seeing you know what's so amazing is Judy was the first, and then you, and then uh, Pastor Billy Taylor, and on and on. Signal got bumped down again just a minute ago. And uh, what I was reminded is... No, no, the Lord told me, he said, I'll remove every obstacle that you let get in the way. And then he said this, I'll remove every obstacle <clears throat> that gets in the way. Savannah says, are you supposed to dream the same dream for five months? No. Reach out to me. If you haven't already sent it, send me, send me uh, Pastor David and Rhonda Raymer are friends that I'm going to go speak at their church that was ordained by the late John Paul Jackson. <clears throat> but send me send me uh, the details of the dream that you've had because I've had people to send me dreams. I, I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of dreams, and I and a lot of them I understand. Some of them I don't. But I will get the information to to ones that 
uh, walk in a deeper uh, discernment of dreams than I do, but I'll take a look at this. Is there anything he can show me? <clears> hey, <throat> man, you know, Dean last night, or yeah, uh, uh, woke me up about three something in the morning, plainly said to me, basically, go upstairs and look in your room upstairs. I go up there and look, and man, I got water dripping through the ceiling. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think is is the roof so I crawled up in the attic and I couldn't see anything up in the attic it was so dark and I'm like if I've got a water line I gotta get this fixed or the roof the, the ceiling could fall in and then the Lord reminded me Dean don't worry about the water going back downstairs and get on get on the signal because there's people contemplating whether to commit suicide. Brother wow. by the time in the morning there were several people that got on that late in the morning and said, I need a miracle. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to give up on life. And that's why I'm on here Christmas Eve, you know, because this is a time of celebration, the holidays and so forth. And there are going to be people that are devastated. You know, Facebook is restricting probably 14 out of every 15 people through this new process they got. But we're still on here. We don't know who all will reach, but God knows who needs to be on here. Good to see you on here, Martha Guy. But but listen, um, anything else? I'm not going to do it tonight, but I'm going to like to see you. 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 I'm going to and she is actually pulling the zipper down uh, to open up. <laughs> Martha's going to be like, how in the world does she get out? She's actually in the... Uh, I'm watching her right now, and she's determined that she's going to pull that zipper down, and she'll have it all the way around in a minute with her paw, and she'll get out. I mean... It's, it's smart, though. Yeah, she's smart. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to let you get off of here. Uh... And I'll, I'll start taking some of these other prayers. But uh, listen, Merry Christmas to you, your wife, your yeah. and and buddy. Well, looky here. she Martha's going to be like, what the world? I'm looking at Shadow right now. She unzipped the the kennel. With the, she's sitting outside of it right now. And Martha's in the other room. So I'm going to tell Martha, hold that thought right there, Dean. Hey. Uh, everybody on here, y'all just hold on a second. I want Martha to come and see this. Girl, you are you are sneaky. Oh my goodness. You are sneaky. She's uh, very smart. Cat. Yeah, she's very Now, Dean, not, not, she's trying to flip her pen over. <laughs> Martha's looking at her like, girl, you might as well take her in there with you, Martha. She's not going to. So everybody's got a little kitten or a cat. She unzipped the whole thing. Bella and Milo come out of the room with Martha. Yeah, she's a smart kitty. Well, listen, Dean, you have a, you have an amazing Christmas. God bless you, buddy. Uh, keep, hey, you keep on telling everybody how amazing Jesus is. You've got an amazing, like I was telling you, when this book gets written, there's probably going to be uh, a chapter dedicated uh, just just to what God's done in your life and uh, your your son's life and so forth. So, uh, just remind your wife if she'll go back and look and see if she can uh, get pretty much accurate. The, uh, the day that she called in that night uh, and I'll be getting some more, more information from you but there's going to be a chapter just to uh, just to that buddy so I'll get back a hold of you and let me know when you back down here in the Carolina area uh, I got some other I got some other churches buddy I want to take you to I know they'd love to to hear you share okay <laughs> okay well you you, hey, you let me know when you're coming back, okay? Uh, I will not let you have my husband, but happy. Hey, hey, you tell, and you tell your daughter when you see her again, 
that uh, you give her that word, or the next time you see her again, hey, call me on the phone. I'll tell her personally on the phone, okay? I will. I got your number on my phone. Okay. All right. God bless you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Hey, Amen. God is good, is he not? God is good. See, we let him share on there. I wish it could have been. Um, I wish we could have got him on here on the split screen. Isn't that amazing that on two different occasions, somebody made sure that the signal went down? And let me tell you what's dangerous about that. And it's this. You might have somebody on here. This is why I try to tell people, man, don't do that. Don't do that. You might have somebody on here that's on here for the first time, don't even know how they got on here. They're scrolling through Facebook. And they're listening. They're listening to this testimony. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, the signal goes down. And and uh, they, they, they get bumped. They get dropped. One of the other things that happens, and I don't do it, and if any of you live stream, I always make sure... We used to do this and tag people, but if you tag people, you're in another group. One, one of the reasons a lot of people were tagging me is because when they tagged me and they did a live stream, it pulled people from all over the place into their group. Okay? So we don't want to do that. And uh, so if you're on here and you're sharing, it's one thing to share. Share out the group, share out to your friends, but don't tag people. Because if you tag people, if they're in another group watching a video, then you'll pull them out of that group. And you also run the risk of knocking their signal down. Okay? So there's a reason Mike wanted to share that with y'all. I, I still look at this picture where the cross supernaturally showed up in my driveway. I mean, God is so good. It's only showing so many people uh, that have shared. If you haven't shared, share. As we say, sharing is caring. Right, Pastor Darren? Sharing is caring. There's some things that I've got to get done. As I was telling y'all, I'm not working uh, uh, third shift hours right now. Uh, I praise God that what the Lord let me see the other day was the very first day that I was able to be on early hours of the morning. And then boom, people saying, hey, I need a miracle. I need a miracle. Somebody's probably like, what's Mike doing? Well, Mike's looking, okay, so hold on. Mike's looking right here at some other groups that we can share into. Hey, this is a good name of a group. How many of y'all like this? The Power of prayer, prayer for a Miracle, okay? How many of y'all like that? Power of Prayer for a Miracle, okay? Then the next group, somebody's going to say, but what's he going to do after that? Man, it's the same game is prayed played I just praise God that all I gotta put up the signal again and it gives me an option okay because before it was like no matter what I did it wouldn't let me back home okay this is Christmas Eve <clears throat> now let me tell you this right now yeah Savannah I just shared into five more groups if you have not shared share if you have not shared share you never know who will get on. I remember the first year we went live, we had 30,000 people on here at one time that was trying. It took it knocked the whole system down. Now Facebook has it where it's pretty much, the, some of the things they do is this. Uh, <clears throat> here's one of the things that they do. They, they let it be like this that we're only going to allow you to be exposed to so many people. That's the reason you can get a lot more people on YouTube and so forth. But here's the thing. The Lord said, I will leave the 99 and go get the one. Here's Brother Mike Perry. Good to see you on here, Brother Mike Perry from Georgia. And let, and let me, <clears throat> okay, my ministry name, but okay to use. Steve, good to uh, see you in here. What city, what state are you from, brother? What city, what state are you from? Because there's one thing that what I want to remind people, y'all got to hear from one of 14 that's been healed of, uh, of dementia. Okay, why do you keep driving this home, Mike? Because I want people to understand, especially when I get somebody on here that says, hey, brother, I'm a pastor, and uh, 
and they and they say this. I'm a pastor, and I wish you wouldn't do this. You're leading people to believe they can be healed. Well, my mom was brain dead, and uh, okay, West Virginia, Steve. What city in West Virginia? I remember y'all, y'all. Some of y'all probably know. Why did Mike just ask him this? Well, because my dad used to take uh, food up to a city, send food up to a city in West Virginia many years ago uh, for the less fortunate. And uh, and uh, by the way, by the way, comfort. Is that the name of a city in West Virginia? Steve, if that is, that's pretty cool. Let me ask you this. Are you anywhere near War, West Virginia? Um, I got a truth bomb for everybody. Y'all going to like this. Near Charleston. Okay. Good to have you on here, brother. My mom was uh, brain dead in Caremont Hospital. And the doctor said there wasn't no hope except for one doctor. He said, don't pull the plug on her. We know she's brain dead. But what if God was to raise her up and change everything? Well, that's exactly what happened. Steve says, close. My dad sent food up there. Okay? Okay? Savannah says, Lord, I don't want to keep dreaming the dreams that's not of you. Savannah, here's the thing. We have dreams, and sometimes dreams are called flushing dreams, where the Lord's trying to get things out of us. Uh, or purge, purge us spiritually. Uh, you can have dreams that's being uh, initiated by the enemy. You can have dreams that's initiated by the Holy Spirit. You can have dreams that's initiated by the flesh. Okay? And if you reach out to me, send me the information and I'll respond back. A lot of times, as John Paul Jackson, the late John Paul Jackson's taught was this, that in dreams, that if the dreams are color, they're, they're, they're Holy Spirit led. If it's black and white, it's of the flesh or it's of the enemy. If you are the main character in the dream, then the dream is directed for you. That's some of the things I always learn by researching and studying while he was teaching on dream interpretations. I've got the books that he's written on this. He spent a lot of time uh, doing this. Okay? Now, I got a truth bomb for some people. Y'all going to love this. Evangelist Raven said God spoke to him clearly and give him a name. And he said the name was uh, Dr. Billy Graham. And he said he asked why. And he didn't hear anything. But he said he realized that Billy Graham died on February the 22nd, 2018. And Evangelist Raven said that the one thing in common with that was that was his birthday. That was his birthday. Now, how many of y'all ready for a truth bomb? I'm going to share something with y'all. Good to see Mark Taylor on here. When I heard this, and when I seen this post, I called my brother. I said, Greg, I think I know, but I want to be 100% sure. Here's the question I asked. My mother said, February 3rd, 2015, February 3rd, 2015, that judgment was coming on America for the killing of the unborn, and time was almost up. Time was almost up. Now listen to this, y'all. Billy Graham passed on February the 22nd, 2018, I believe that is the day, is what I was told. My mother's birthday, what day do you think my mother's birthday is? Anybody want to take a shot at this? Billy Dr. Billy Graham entered into heaven on that day. Anybody want to take a shot at whose birthday it was three years before on the same day? Amen. Good to see you, Pastor. Pastor. Okay. From India. God bless you, buddy. Let me ask you this. Pastor, what all is taking place uh in India. I'm hearing in a lot of these countries that it is so hard for people to open up and really share their faith because of all the persecution. I know that I'd love to come to India and some of the other countries and just share. Listen, I'm, t I'm telling you right now, 
I'm believing, hey, I, I tell you what, I believe that in some of these other countries, we'd be seeing arms and legs growing back. The level of faith, I believe, is out the roof in some of these other countries because just like Dean said, sometimes you got to be willing to tear the roof off. Those people said, hey, I can't get to Jesus. He's in the house, but we can't get to him. Well, we're going to go through the roof. Changed everything. They put the man that was uh, par uh, paralyzed on the mat or the man that couldn't walk and bedridden, put him on the mat and lowered him down. Yeah, my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is February the 22nd. And y'all know how relevant the number three years Three years exactly to the day that Billy Graham entered in to heaven, three years before, my mother celebrated her last birthday. She celebrated her last birthday. She loved Dr. Billy Graham. She loved Dr. Billy Graham. And she told me, she said, listen, son, you better tell the world that time is almost up. You don't have much more time. Time is almost up. Okay? And we got to be sharing with people. My mom was adamant about the unborn. Fight for the unborn. When my mom come back to life, and she shared with my dad what happened with her, that she witnessed hell, my dad was like, son, you better tell the people. You better tell the people. Amen? Amen. I like this. Amen. Religious spirit, no fruit, no power. That is so true. And Steve, this is what the Lord's been telling me, that you know what? Relationship with Jesus Christ will tear down religion every time. And, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm looking right here. Somebody's like, what's he doing? Well, I'm looking right here to find the groups that I haven't reached out to because I'm trying to reach out to all of them. Let me, let me say this to everybody that's on here. Okay. There's one, two, three. I'm going to reach out to a group, another group in India. Okay? I'm going to reach out to another group in India. And uh, why? Because you never know who will get on here. You'd love to have somebody on here <clears throat> that's considered uh, suicide. Okay? Here's the thing. John 14, 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me will do the same things and even greater things. Yeah. Yeah, Robert Gray goes, And then you meet Billy Graham's cousin. Yeah, sure did. We become Facebook friends, then we become friends, and then we minister together. Uh, everybody's like, Oh my gosh, he sounds just like him. Yeah, he looks like him and he sounds like him. Amen. And you know what? I think it was his nephew that had the brain tumor that everybody was praying for. And all of you on live stream, do y'all realize <clears throat> that all of your prayers coming together and he was sent to St. Jude's and they didn't know what they could do for him for that cancer, but he was healed. He was healed just one day. Boom, it's gone. It's gone. Listen, God's hand is upon uh, the ones at St. Jude. You know, uh, it does make a difference when you got people that pray and people that believe, and you're not going to have people. I've been in hospitals, and people get nervous if you say, hey, I want to, you mind if we pray to the Lord? You even got people in some of these hospitals that even <clears throat> if they realize there ain't no hope, they still don't want you mention the name of Jesus. This is where we're at, y'all, in this day and time. We're in the year 2019. This is where we're at. The Lord is looking for the Elijahs to come forward and say, you know what? Let me tell you about my God. Not afraid to say. There's a lot of people that talk a good talk. You ever been around people that talk a good talk and you're like, man, look at all that smack they're talking. Smack, that's what I said, smack in the physical realm. They think they're going to go out and win that ball game. They go out and get crushed. And then people realize, you know what? You really never believed that you could win that game.
Amen. I have a very specific Lake Latimer width. What city or what state are you from? Is this the first time that you've been on here? This is what I'm talking about. We'll see the brokenhearted. We'll see people get on here. It says, I have a very specific prayer request. Pray my husband breaks off with his mistress, April, that he will repent, that he will consent to marriage counseling, that God will stop this divorce in his tracks and restores our marriage to a better place than it's ever been in the last 20 years. Okay. Lake Latimer Whips. What city, what state are you from? Don't don't go nowhere. Don't don't go nowhere. You're on here for a reason. I want y'all to be praying for her. This is the very reason I get on here all the time is to encourage people. If you ask me the question, has Mike seen miracles in this area? You best believe it. You best believe it. Alright? The question, the first thing I hear is this. What? God puts together, no man put asunder. Yes. Fox 13, Memphis. Okay. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you right now. I got an idea of uh, what you... Let, let me ask you this. Wow. Okay. Let couple of things I'm hearing right now for you, okay? A couple of things I'm hearing for you right now, but I got a question. Do you and your son, I mean, excuse me, I think I pretty much know the answer to that. Do you and your husband have, have uh, children? Do you and your husband have children? Y'all bear with me right here. I do this all the time. When God leads me in the direction, when I see prayer requests and so forth, and God leads me in a direction, uh, I stop and I step out in obedience and do what the Lord has asked me to do. I need all of y'all praying. I need all of y'all praying. See, I know a guy named Jeremy uh, down here in the state of South Carolina is involved in a head-on collision, was in a coma for a while, and the doctor said he was going to die, but the pastor believed for him and asked us, 10-year-old and a 2-year-old, Okay, what what are your children's name? What are your children's name? I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something. Hey, Amen. I, right. God is so good. Marie Dameron, good to see you on here. I want everybody praying for her husband right now that he will <clears throat> leave this relationship that he's in. I'm going to tell you, the enemy's crafty. The enemy's crafty. Okay? And I'm going to share something with y'all. Some of you are going to understand. Mostly it's women that get on here every day faithfully, but we got a lot of godly men that get on here. but it's mostly women that are fighting for the kingdom of God. Okay? I'm waiting on uh, her, Gates and Brewer. So I take it. Wow. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Is Gates the oldest and is both of your children boys? Okay. I wish I could get her on split screen and let her start speaking uh, because I know where this is going. I've seen God restore so many marriages because Jesus is the greatest counselor. Jesus is the greatest counselor. Man, I've had people tell me, there ain't no way this is going to work. And God said, tell them it will work. And I've seen God bring restitution 
I mean, I, I, restoration, restitution too, restitution spiritually. Let me tell you, I remember one time Shannon Duncan got on here, the wife come to the house for home prayer. The wife come to the house for home prayer, okay, here at the house, and we prayed for her husband, and her husband was bound up. Okay, Brewer's a girl. Okay, Gates is the oldest of boy. Brewer's a girl. Okay. Now, I want to say something. This is a key right here. <clears throat> this is a key. If you notice that immediately, I, I said to, to her, address her, and then I said her son. I didn't say her husband right away. I said her son. So that was the spirit letting me know that there's a boy involved in this, and that's why I asked the question, is both of them boys? And one's a boy, one's a girl. that I've heard that. Douglas, amen. Gates Douglas. You know, let, let me say this. It's the first time that I've heard someone's name mentioned uh, as far as a boy's name, Gates, okay? But I wanna, I wanna say to you, man, that uh, you might not understand the power of prayer in this respect, but here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Here's what I want to ask you to do. I want to ask you to uh, to make sure that you gather your son and your daughter together. I want you to ask your boy to pray. Now here's the thing. If I ask you to pray, then here's what's going to happen. You're going to be like the enemy's going to be reminding you of all the flaws that you got. The enemy can't do this with your son. He's 10 years old. The enemy's like this ain't fair. Let me tell you what's happening right now. The enemy's like right now this is not fair. You're telling her to have her 10 year old and her 2 year old to pray for their family. This is not fair. I don't have no baggage on the 10 year old. I don't have no crap on the 2 year old. God's going to see the pureness in their heart and the pureness in their prayer. I want you to challenge your 10 year old and, and, and you do this every day. Like you do this every day with your 10 year old and your 2 year old. Just like if you were saying bedtime prayers. You ask the 10 year old to agree with you in prayer. Ask the 10 year old to pray that God's favor would move mightily in your home, over, over you, over your children. But most of all, you ask Gates to pray, Lord Jesus, I want you to touch my daddy. I, I want you, Lord, to bring conviction upon my daddy. Lord, let my daddy know, okay? Let my daddy know that he is needed here. Let my daddy know that what God put together that no man put asunder, that, that no man separate. I'm telling you, there's a key. There's a key in this. Prayer is powerful. We got all these people I know is going to be praying for you. You might even say, does this work? Listen, God, God raises the dead. He causes the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the lame to walk. And yes, if Lake wants to... Uh, uh, if Lake wants to uh, call me, she she can call me at uh, any time. Uh, that's no problem. I wish I could get her on split screen, but I know she hears what I'm saying. There's a key to this. You watch what God would do. And listen, don't give up, Lake. Don't give up. Don't sit here. And let me tell you this. The enemy's going to do everything he can to squash this. And it might get way worse than it get before it gets better. But you believe, you believe and you have your boy agree with you and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, touch my daddy. Lord, bring him, bring him back home, dad. 
bring dad back home. And when I said bring him back home, dad, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the spiritual father that we can call daddy, Abba Father. And you know what? I'd be the first to sit here and even say, you know what, Lake? I'm so confident in the prayers of children. I'd even say to you, tell your son to remember me. Tell Gates to be praying that, Lord Jesus, always, Lord, keep keep this man, Mike, in humility at all times. Give him wisdom like he's never, ever experienced. Amen. I know this means a lot to you. I know this means a lot to uh, to your son and your to your daughter. So you do that. You do that. And, and you get on here. I'm expecting there's going to be a day. What do you mean? Well, listen, I have seen families where the husband said, ain't happening. And they're back at home with their, their, their family. And they're being that godly example. But the key's going to be, let me tell you the key, y'all. Here's the key that's going to be. When, when Lake says, I want my husband back. Lake, here's the key. Here's the key. When you say, I want my husband back. You have got to remember that when he comes back, that you've got to say that, hey, you know what? I forgive you. I'm sorry for any role that I played, and it has to be the past. It can't be that it is used as leverage. A lot of times people say, I want my husband back. I want my wife back. And when they come back, it's like slam them for all the decisions they made. Listen, praise God that God don't do that with us. Now, listen, y'all be praying. Lake, the key's going to be... The key is going to be that you allow and get your son involved. The Lord told me a while back, teach the children how to pray and watch what I do. Man, God moves mildly through the prayers of children, I'll tell you that. It's no coincidence that you got on here. Amen. And you make sure, Lake, that the Lord is the love of your life. You make sure that when you see your husband, you let him see Jesus operating through you. And let me tell you, can you imagine when God speaks through your son to, to your husband, what that will do? The, the word of God brought forth by the voice of a child will, will cause the most prideful people to crumble. Amen? I'm telling you. It's, it's powerful. I've seen people that are wicked brought to their knees through the prayers of children. Okay? Amen. I'm believing this is going to happen. I'm believing this is going to happen. The Lord says for those that embrace the miracles that have took place and give me praise for it, watch what I do. If God can heal 14 of dementia, you know what? Let me tell you what your marriage needs. Not just restoration. Not just forgiveness and healing but listen i call it spiritual amnesia the lord says i will cast your sins into the sea of forgetfulness you know what the lord can make your marriage better than it ever was than even when you said i do like lord jesus we are praying and believing for restoration for lake and jeremy lord i'm believing for you to move mildly in this marriage lord I'm praying for conviction upon Jeremy right now. God, humble him and let him know that God, Gates and Brewer, they need their daddy. They need their daddy and they need their daddy to be a spiritual example for both of them. You know what really kills me sometimes is when you get someone that says, well, I'm getting a separation, I'm getting a divorce. In other words, the grass is green.